Christ did not send his son to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved through him. John 3, 16 and 17. We're like the fifth candle, which is white, is a candle of Christ. White candle reminds us that Jesus is the spotlight or the spotless lamb of God sent to wash away our sins. His birth was for his death. His death was for our birth. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away every sin of the world. St. John 1 and 29. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a member of the Jewish ruling council, who came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, Master, we know you are a teacher who comes from God. No man can do the, or perform these miracles and signs you do doing if God is not with him. In reply to the letter, I tell you the truth, for he is the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. He can, how can a man be born when he's old? Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. The truth is true. It's talking. No one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and of the spirit. Flesh gives birth to the flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my sayings. You must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it's coming from and where it is going. So it is with everyone is born of the spirit. John 3, verses 1 through 8. We will light all candles this morning. The first one, the first week, every day, Sunday, was purple, candle of hope. Second was also purple, a candle of preparation. The third was pink, a candle of joy. Today is also purple and a candle of love. And also we will light the white one, which is a candle of Christ. Mr. Jennifer 
for him before you do that. I want to give God the glory and the honor on honor him. I want to honor all the preachers that are in the house. Yeah, I don't feel the walker. Father, we just thank you for this year. Almost gone. But Lord, you've still been faithful. In the midst of our sickness, the trials, and the tribulations that we may have gone through, you still present in our lives. And Lord, we just say thank you. You're worthy of the praise. We honor you today because of who you are. Not because of who we are, thank you. but because of who you are. Yes. 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 You, you read, we read in Sunday school, you are mighty God. You are yes. wonderful counsel, prince yes. of peace. Yes. Yes. Oh, you everything. Yes. Yes. We just say thank you. Thank you. You've been good to us. Yes. Not been, but you're good to us right now. Yes. Yes. And Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you. Be able to be in your presence, yeah. in the presence of your people. Yeah. We just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you today. Mm -hmm. But one thing I am reminded is that you loved us first. Yes. So we just say thank you. Thank you for everybody for being in the house. Those that have been here for a while, we pray, Lord, and we thank you. Thank you, Lord, once again to be in our presence. Yeah. We give you glory and honor. Because you're worthy of all praises. And Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Because of who you are. I thank you, Lord, for the word that will go forth this morning. That you bless the woman of God that she bring forth the word. You will lead and guide and strengthen us. In the name of Jesus. Help us to have ears. The heart to receive your word. shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. 
and it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. May God have blessed to the reading of this word, Genesis 12, 2, through 16, Luke 2, chapter. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the
Pray for the Hall family that I prayed for last week. They did not find him alive uh, from the tornado. Um, and then uh, pray for my friend Tiffany, brother Greg, that we pray for with COVID. He's doing a lot better. He's off the ventilator. So continue to pray for him too, guys.
put a tent of protection around them, God. A protection around them, God, that they are where they at, God. We pray, God, also for Brother Gary, God. We, pray, we thank you, God, for what you're doing, God. Thank you, God, for the miracle, God. Hallelujah. We thank you that nobody can do what you do. We thank you. We thank you for the gospel. We thank you, God. We thank you for the gospel. But we thank you for you being the chief, the chief musician, God. And we thank you, God. We thank you, God, because we believe, God, that you're going to keep working with our God. We thank you, God, that he's looking better from the time that we found out about him. He's looking better and better each day, God. So, God, we pray, God, that you continue to touch his body, God. Continue to reset his body, God, in the name of Jesus, so he can be used for your glory, God, in the name of Jesus. And those of God, you Thank you. 
to the victim who contributed one thousand dollars to those persons. Six states where Brother Lee had his son that day in uh, Minnesota. He never had tornadoes in the month of December. And I was looking at that and I thought about it. I said, God is on his way back. Stuff is happening that has never happened before. And it's on his way down. Now, old folks say, it behooves us. It behooves us to just refocus our thinking, get the refocus. Churches has combined together to work together to give everyone a little dough 